I'm going to walk you through setting up your ASD integration in the IMS. Now, first of all, to register your system with ASD, you go to the system settings in the upper right hand corner. In the system settings, you go to My ASD, and you'll see you come to the registration page. Now, this system is already registered, but I'm still going to walk you through the system. ASD will have given you a client number and a client password. You'll enter that information here. Once that information has been entered, up in the upper right hand corner, you click on the register My ASD account. If everything is correct and it has been validated, you'll get this response that says My ASD has been successfully registered and click OK. Should you get the message that says incorrect client ID or client password, just try entering again, make sure you have the correct information in there. If the problem persists, we ask that you contact ASD to ensure that you have the correct information. If you do have that and you try it again, then contact us here at uh, Front Runner Professional, either contact your project manager or send an email to support at frontrunner360.com. Once you've successfully registered and everything's okay, you'll get that information that it is registered and you can move on from there. The next step is downloading your locations to your system. Now in order to do this, you go over to this option right here where it says get locations from my ASD. Click on that and you'll see that here's your location. Actually your screen will come up without this on here, but you go to the upper right hand corner once again where it says download my ASD locations. Click that. If it's successful, you're going to get my ASD locations have been successfully downloaded. Should you run into an issue once again where this doesn't work, we ask you to go through the steps of contacting ASD to make sure that everything is lined up properly. And if they check everything out and it's working fine, then we ask that you contact your project manager or support at frontrunner360.com. But we're assuming everything's gone very smoothly here. So now, we have to set up our reporting to and from ASD. And there are two services that can be used with the ASD service. One is the obituary export. The obituary export allows the system to provide data to ASD whenever you update a death record in your system. Service is activated or deactivated on each record. So I'll go over to the main tab. And we'll open this record. And once the record is open, go to edit record settings in the upper right of your page. And you'll see the third option is My ASD Locations. Right now we have it set to No. If you have several locations, this, this drop-down will populate with all of them. Right now I only have one, so I would select that. Once you've selected the location, all you have to do is click Save. And that record is now associated and sent to ASD. The record uh, will be reported to ASD service anytime you enter or edit information. If someone calls ASD service uh, requesting information about this person, they'll be provided with the latest information in the file. There's also the first call import. First Call Import allows the ASD service to receive calls on behalf of the funeral home and for you to import them into the system at a later date. Information received by ASD is imported on demand. Now in order to import information from ASD, go up to the Arrangement tab in the IMS, select My ASD Management, and you'll see that I do have some records in here. But the first step you're going to want to do is go to the upper right hand corner and select Import My ASD Deaths. You'll see that I have no new deaths found since the last import. Most likely you're going to find a few in there. And you do this on a regular basis. Once new death records have been imported, you'll be presented with a pop-up that says they're successfully imported. You click OK, the screen refreshes and you get this table containing all of the death records imported through the service. Any newly imported records will be displayed as unconfirmed, as you can see here in blue. The ones that I've already confirmed that have come through are showing here in green. If you click on any of the ones you've imported already, you'll see it takes you right over to the record. If you need to update it or what have you. We'll go back to Arrangement, which is still open on our death records. If there's an unconfirmed record, click on that. This just means it hasn't been added to your system yet. Now here you can check through the details. 
and when you're ready with that you can either confirm as a web only record or confirm as a standard record if your system is set up for that or you can close out and not confirm it at all we'll confirm this as a standard record and it tells you that this will create a standard death record for the imported record are you sure and we'll say okay and you'll see the record is created with the information from ASD. Obviously you're going to have more information to add to this but it has started the record for you with the basic information. Now we'll go back over to arrangement one more time and we're still on the imported deaths and you'll see that we do now have four confirmed and one unconfirmed. You do have a filter if you have a lot of records in here you can filter them by the confirmed ones and also by the unconfirmed. We'll go back to all and that's pretty much how you set up the ASD interaction and get your records imported from ASD and also export information to ASD. Should you require any further information regarding the ASD setup, we ask you to contact your project manager or send an email to support at frontrunner360.com.